How's it going everyone? My name is Corbin with Home Gyms Canada. Welcome back to our page. Today we're taking a look at Irwin Fitness Supplies adjustable bench. Let's go. First and foremost, I wanna quickly talk a little bit about who Irwin Fitness Supply is. They're an up and coming company out of Manitoba and despite being kind of smaller and new, they're turning a lot of heads and making a lot of noise. They've done a great job at giving Canadians an option for quality fitness equipment. They're constantly coming out with new and exciting attachments that we don't see very much every day. For example, their roller J-cups or their monolift attachment just to name a few. My favorite thing about Irwin Fitness is they're a hungry company and they're constantly striving to come out with new products or they're trying to find ways to make their existing products even more efficient or more effective. So, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be taking a look at Irwin Fitness Supplies Adjustable Bench 1.0. I originally ordered this bench on August 19th, and because it's a custom build, we had to go back and forth a lot, and eventually it ended up at my house on September 22nd. Going back and forth with Garth was a breeze, and he made the whole process butter smooth. He really listened to my ideas and he brought them to life, which is exactly what you want to see in a smaller company like this. Here is what their bench looks like on their website. Right off the bat, you will see they have a couple different customizable options and you will also see the price tag on this bench, which is $899, which might seem like a lot to some people, but hopefully after this video, you will have a better understanding and hopefully a different perspective as well. This bench shipped freight and came packaged in a big wooden crate. And after seeing how this thing was packaged, I was not surprised to see it came in in absolutely mint condition. The only drawback to having a bench shipped like this is it's very difficult to move as you can imagine. But that being said, I really wouldn't want it any other way considering how much safety and security a crate like this offers. Another quick point to touch on here is the bench comes fully assembled, which is good because it's going to save you that time and effort. However, it's going to drive the shipping prices up a little bit. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the bench itself and let's go over a couple of the awesome details and features that this bench has to offer. First, the construction. This bench is constructed with two inch by three inch 11 gauge steel tubing with a quarter inch formed steel frame. The total weight of this bench is 120 pounds, which might seem like a lot to some people. However, the equivalent from Rogue is actually more than this at 125 pounds. As for colors, I have a black textured finish combined with a couple gloss red accenting pieces. They do offer color customization and some of the colors that they've been coming out with are absolutely stunning. Here's a couple quick examples of that. If you're looking for a custom color, it's gonna be a $50 upcharge. This bench is an absolute unit. It does not budge, it doesn't wobble or move unintentionally. I have absolutely no problems with how this bench is constructed. Well done guys. Moving along to adjustability, and this bench is actually one of the best on the market in terms of adjustability. The front seat has a total of four different adjustment points, ranging from zero degrees all the way up to 30 degrees, whereas the standard in the market is usually only two or three. As for the backrest, it has a total of eight different adjustment points, ranging from zero degrees all the way to 85 degrees. I will also mention that at each adjustment point, there are laser cut numbers for a more convenient experience when you're making these adjustments. When making adjustments on this bench, it's nice to know that the handles and rollers are all machined UHMW. Now this is a benefit to you because it's going to protect the powder coat on the bench while also limiting the noise that adjustable benches make when you're adjusting them. Lastly, this bench is a ladder style adjustment. I guess I should have mentioned that earlier and it's a tripod design as well. This is really becoming the industry standard if it hasn't already. Now let's talk a little bit about the pad itself. They have a base layer of high density foam that's acting as a solid sturdy foundation to lift on and then on top of that they have a quarter inch piece of foam to make it a more comfortable and nice surface to lift on. Over the past few months I've loved lifting on this thing and I can genuinely say that I think they have found that perfect combination of firmness and comfortability. When I first thought about getting a new adjustable bench this was right around the time that the Rogue Bench came out as well. And my main concern with this IFS bench was actually the pad in the vinyl. Now it's not because I doubted Irwin as a company because I knew that they were making great equipment. However, I just thought it was in my best interest to go with someone that has a little bit more experience when making benches. One of my biggest drawbacks about this bench is actually the material in vinyl 
that they're choosing to wrap the foam in. Now it's nowhere near what that Amazon bench is like, which it shouldn't be because it's nowhere near similar in price. However, I do find my shoulders are having a tough time staying set when I'm bench pressing. On that note, Garth and I from IFS have already had a conversation about this issue and he's already making moves to yet again make his products more effective and efficient. I've said it earlier in this video and I'll say it again. This is one of the reasons that I love and support this company. A couple quick things before we move on for all of you equipment nerds out there. The pad gap on this bench is one and a quarter inches. The height of this bench from the floor all the way to the top of the pad is 17.3 inches. And on their website, they're giving you two options of pad widths. The first option is 12 inches and the second is 14 inches. Another cool feature that IFS has decided to include in this bench is the option to store it vertically. Now this isn't something that you see very often, however it is becoming more and more popular as more benches are coming into the market. They managed to do this by utilizing a unique locking system that allows the bench to be stored vertically without any of the adjustable pieces moving around. I don't know how much I'm going to be using this feature, however it is nice that it's there. One thing that I do love about this bench is obviously the custom cut logo that we have in there, but it's just the attention to detail. Everything functions perfectly, everything looks good, and everything on this bench serves a purpose. The laser cut IFS logos everywhere on this bench just shows that this company is high quality. Not many companies out there actually take the time to laser cut their logos into their products. They generally just slap a sticker on it and call it quits. IFS has completely crushed this product and I'm very happy that I chose them and trusted them with this project. I've loved using this bench over the past two months and as weird as it is to say, it genuinely gets me excited to come out here and have a good workout. With that being said, if you guys think I missed anything or have any questions about this bench, go ahead and leave them below in the comments. Also, if you guys wanna see different companies or different products on our page for reviews, go ahead and leave that down below as well. My name is Corbin with Home Gyms Canada. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys around here sometime soon.